here is the air assist on. Now I'm going to turn it off and we'll watch the difference. We'll see the amount of smoke that rises up above our fume extraction hood and makes it into the room. And then we will turn the air assist back on and the air assist will direct that smoke right towards the fume extraction vent. And we can suck all that smoke out of the room and save our lungs. And here we have the air assist off, just monitoring the smoke that's rising up and remaining in the room, heading towards the laser lens. And then we'll turn the air assist back on and direct that smoke right to the fume extraction hood so we can get the smoke out of the room and away from our lungs. We're working with a 12 inch license plate so the further the laser path is working when it's on the complete on the left side and the air assist is turned off there is a tremendous amount of smoke that rises up doesn't get sucked into the fume hood and makes it towards the lens and then is dispersed into the room at this point just observing the smoke rising up and just taking notice how much is making it into the room, how much is making it towards the lens, um, which could actually end up making your lens dirty as well as forcing you to breathe in some of these fumes. So at this point, turn the air assist on again and we end up starting to direct all that smoke right into that vent. It virtually disappears where it's just being blown into the vent and then sucked right out of the room. Then we turn it off. Again, just look at the amount of smoke that's rising up into the room that's not being sucked into the vent. As I said before, the further away you get from your vent, the less exhaust is going to be drawn into it. Then we turn it back on and we can see, again, the smoke virtually disappears just where it was being blown across the work surface at a higher rate of speed and being forced into the exhaust. So now we are able to run our 300 millimeter lens with a 12 inch piece of material under it and we are able to take all the exhaust and smoke and fumes and direct those right towards our fume extraction system and have that air either blown out of your house, garage, workshop, into your fume extraction filter, whatever you have, just to help keep your air a little bit cleaner and add a little bit more safety and take better care of your health just by running some additional air just to help get the smoke out of the room. So at this point, I'm just gonna throw in some footage of this license plate running and to turn the air assist on and off at various points and get some different angles, but it's more just because everybody likes to watch the fiber laser run, including myself.
And here's another example of the air assist being off and then turn back on. you frustrated with disappointing engravings? Are you tired of dingy, messy engraving results? Then try the Light Source Engraving Air Assist Kit. Minimize debris, have less flare-ups, a cooler work surface, less post-processing, and get the smoke out of here. One thing's for certain, with the Light Source Engraving Air Assist Kit, you'll be blown away with the results. Features include a flexible gooseneck with a wide reach, Two nozzles for optimal performance, a flow control valve, fast installation, and two sturdy bases. The kit comes with everything pictured here. And are you freaking kidding me? It even comes with a camera mount. Head on over to lightsource.pro and order your kit today.